Hi everyone. Previous videos I explained the prerequisites sites and installation of Apache Airflow. So in this video I will explain how you can automate a sample python script by using Apache Airflow python operator. So let's start. Let me open VS Code. So here you could see there is a dag folder. Under that we need to create one automate dag file. So let me give one name. You can give any name. Python operator demo dot py. So it is extension is Python file. You can give py. After creating that one, we need to add prerequisite modules. Uh, let me add date time module so we can use that one in start time. I will explain you why I am creating this module here and why I am adding this one. Import date time. After that, we need to add models. So AR flow dot models. So from this module, we are invoking DAG and variable. So how you use that one, I will also explain. So watching at the end of this video, DAG comma variable. Upcoming videos also in this video I will explain DAG. So variable upcoming videos I will explain you. Here we are invoking Python operator module, Airflow dot operators dot Python underscore operator. It's a default modules. You can find through documents and also I will provide the link in description box. Underscore operator import. So here we are importing Python operator. You can give P capital and O capital. As usual how we are doing right. So same way you can give that one. This is the basic thing we added here. Now default arguments we need to add. So there are so many default arguments available in Apache Airflow. Let me use a two to three default arguments. How come videos I will add more? Here, let me add owner. So who is the owner of this DAG? You can let me give the my YouTube channel name. You can give your name or anything as you want. So let me add so beyond out. Okay, let me add that capital D. D O U B T. Okay, fine. You can add command. You can add more attribute which is predefined and available. It will not support like if you give any other name. Start underscore date. So here, okay, let me call that date time module. Whatever we added at the top, right? So that date time module we will call here. You can give a uh, today date. Let me give any date here. It's a today year, month and day. So after adding this one, so this is the default arguments to I added here. Here we will call that DAG module. Here you can see. Let me give DAG name. So inside DAG we will call all the attribute which is predefined attribute available in DAG like DAG ID. So here I am calling DAG ID. So whatever name you want to see in Airflow UI, that name you can give here. So let me give Python operator demo one. So upcoming videos I will add more videos. In Python operators, so here we are calling the default arguments which we are creating above. Let me add a default argument equal to the default args which we created above. Here we need to see that is a schedule, right? So which time you want to execute the automatic? So here current I am just adding none. Like I am not adding any uh, schedule like which time it will execute automatic. So I will add this schedule interval as none. In this videos, so upcoming videos, I will explain you how you can uh, trigger without triggering anything. It will by default trigger any specific time or date. Okay, I will explain that one later. So let it uh, consider as a DAG. So I am storing this value in DAG. So after that, we are uh, adding colon. So let me add some task. Task is nothing like uh, where we are calling Python script and where I am automating my Python file. So there is a command, not command. I think uh, yeah, we are adding that uh, task name. Task name you can give anything. So here I am calling Python operator. So inside Python operator, I am calling the task ID and everything. Here you can see I am adding like task underscore ID. So here I am calling the task ID name. Let me give the same name. Whatever I added, start underscore dag. After that, you can see 
I am adding one command. It's a default command python underscore callable. So in here if I am calling any python function name then it will automate that script. So let me create one folder under dac folder and I will add all the file in there. So I am giving bots. Bots is nothing but reusable python function. So I will show you how you can do that one. You can give any name. Here I am giving one name python underscore helper. So inside this helper whatever function I will add I will automate that scripts in DAG. Let me create one function here. Define call and here I am adding kwargs arguments. Why I am adding this one upcoming videos I will explain you. Here I am adding one uh, exception handler which is available in python whatever python you are learning right so same thing you can implement here also it will uh, execute that one result let me add hello world so this is the starting phase of this uh, initial phase right so let me uh, explain some bit uh, example more so you can get more idea here i am adding exception excerpt block i am storing as a exception you can store in anywhere or any name can and let me print that one so whatever exception is coming right directly follow except block you can call that exception here so instead of exception if you are giving any name other name it will work let me store it first none so i will add upcoming videos that are some more conditions so currently i am just adding none and call that result outside of this except block so you can directly pick that result from outside of this return value okay not return i will add that result whatever i added inside try block right you can add that one so i will add this link also this code link you can directly pick that one from description box so this is the completion of that bot sample bot so this output you can automate that one so uh, let me add here that module uh, here that is a bot folder right you can give what bot folder bots after adding that one we need to call that python file pick that one then you can use import import what function you want to import there is one function is available then you can import that function only after you import that one you can call that one in python callable so it will pick that bot function and it will automate that output then we can call the start dag so this is the default thing we are using in apache airflow i will explain you a bit more in upcoming videos so it's completed let it save that one control s after that we can see let me brief again so this is dead time module dag module which is inbox from models this is python operator inbox from python operator so this is call method which we are call, creating here and calling in dag and uh, this is the default arguments and uh, owner you can give anything this is start date and dag you, here you can give any dag name default argument we are calling at the above and non currently i am using and uh, this is the thing i am using and uh, calling this function in python callable this is some brief notes and uh, this is the airflow ui if you refresh that one you could see new dag has been updated so this is the dag name schedule and uh, now you can see whatever we are giving in uh, that code right this is updated here let it open that one by default it is coming as a tree view so if you click grab view then you can uh, drag and drop anywhere this option let me expand this one through mouse you can do that one so here you can see whatever name you can see here right so same name you could see here you can give you can update any time and any web so this is the on and off option by clicking that one you will trigger your dag so while you are executing right so this is a trigger dag option is there by clicking that one it will execute by default it is coming as a tree view you can grab view so you can easily see that option so here there is option refresh by clicking that one you will refresh your automate code but here you can see this is uh, that green color option means it is completed by clicking view log you can see that output here you can see let it let me scroll down here you can see hello world 
so this is the output which we added in python helper this hello world instead of that whatever output you were uh, picking that right then it will pick that one xcom is nothing like it's a db it's a postgres db by default airflow is using whatever output you can see here right so upcoming videos we will automate this one also so this is the overall thing in this videos so those who have any doubt they can ask me in comment box